It's in our culture to give and share without hesitation and without expectation of getting anything in return. Yet we are warriors at heart. We are Tushka is what it's called in Choctaw, warriors. And we take great pride in our heritage and we fight fiercely to protect it. But a warrior's duty is also to help those in need. We hear of an injustice, we stand up for those suffering or being persecuted each and every day. Today, our two nations can stand here together and proudly reflect on the strength and fortitude of our people. We can celebrate our ability to overcome tremendous adversity and our history as kindred spirits. First of all, it's, it's uh, honorable of what our people has done for us, the example that they set by giving this donation after we came across a trail of tears and to lose what we did and then to look to other people that needed help desperately. So that's a great example for us to follow. Also, it's very humbling too, to know that the Irish people know this history, know that they're willing to honor us and to recognize that 170 years later, I mean, they know the story of the Choctaw people and our humanitarian efforts and who we are and what we stand for. And I think that's very humbling. I was totally shocked the amount of people that showed up that day because I didn't expect that many people to know the story. But again, it's a part of their history. And so to me, I was extremely uh, proud to, to be the chief of the Choctaw Nation and to represent our people because I've never been more proud to be a Choctaw than I was that day. Sure, it's great to be the chief, but when you hear people just honoring our Choctaw people, our history, who we are as Choctaw people for that effort, I mean, it, it just is so humbling. I mean, I got, I got emotional that day. I mean, it was really hard for me to control my emotions because um, of the experience and the gratitude that the Irish people had for our people. Well, first of all, I think it's very important that we teach our history to our people and to the community as a whole so that people understand what the Choctaw people are truly about, how we are a sovereign nation, who we are as people. I think we need to document that and show the world what great people the Choctaw people are. Uh, because right now, again, I don't think that story's told anywhere. So that that's what I would, would take away from that, as well as, because once people know their history, know who they are, then they're proud and, and they know uh, of what they should stand for as the Chata, as the Chata people. One of the, the most important parts that I wanted to make the trip, sure, we want to recognize and honor our history and past, but also to truly enhance our government-to-government -government relationships. So we're hoping that there will be some business opportunities. You know, they talked about they export 80% of their goods. And so we're wondering, so what could we export to them? What can they export to us? How can we build those relationships? Is there a chance for potential partnerships in business? So. Uh, we're hoping that we can do that as well as we would love for them to come back here so that we can show them our hospitality and that we are still true the Choctaws that we were 170 years ago. So to me it's sharing of culture, sharing of businesses and all those things enhancing our sovereignty. That's what we hope to continue in the future. And when you think about how extraordinary the story is, um, sometimes it can be difficult to get your head around it, that complete strangers, possibly 4,000 miles away, we say the Atlantic Ocean separates the United States and Ireland is 3,000 miles, and I know the Choctaw people were further inland. Um, to think that they heard about the hardship that the Irish people were enduring during the Great Famine, and that they made whatever effort they could to help out. It is indeed a truly extraordinary story, and it is only right that we here in Cork County would mark that and that there will be a lasting tribute to that, to that act of human generosity which stands behind me here and it will stand the test of time. And I hope it conveys in, in, in a meaningful way to the people of the Choctaw people who are here today with us the sincere thank you that we want to pass on as an Irish people to you for your extraordinary act of kindness. <laughs>